dive into the world of JavaScript, I just want to give you some resources so you can learn on your own because you guys don't want to be listening to me for the rest of your lives. I mean, you don't want to be five years into programming and being like, oh, I got to go back and listen to Mark's course. You know, I'll, I'll probably be dead by then or something anyway. So you got to learn this now because I'm not going to be here forever. Just kidding. Don't tell my wife that. Um, okay. So what I wanted to show you uh, was a few places where I like to go to get help uh, specifically with JavaScript, but also with web technologies in general. And you may already know about these. So first thing, I'm just going to type in JavaScript string just to show you, you can do a search on, you know, on Google. And what you're going to see here is these results. One from MDN, which is the Mozilla, Mozilla Developer Network for like uh, the team that built Firefox. They've got fantastic documentation. And then they've got the W3 schools. And the W3 schools have everything as well too, everything you need to know. So if you click on the W3 schools right here, Okay, they've got examples, they've got things you can try out on certain pages where you can click the try and copy and paste. It has all the functions you can do on different things. A very powerful tool. So if you don't know how to do something with JavaScript, before you come um, like making a post for help on Stack Overflow or, or to me, I recommend that you go to w3schools.com and see what you can find. Now, w3schools.com, uh, they explain things at a very beginner level, which is super helpful. Again, this is a great, web, a great website. So w3schools.com, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, they've got it all, okay? Now, Mozilla's, the MDN, what's interesting about this is it's a little more complicated than the W3 schools. Let me make this a little bigger here for you. It's a little more complicated, uh, but it goes in much, much more detail. So it, it talks about all the different things you can do. I mean, it really goes into like the low level side of the, uh, the language and the different things uh, that are happening behind the scenes, which is really cool if you want to know what's going on under the hood. Uh, again, it does also give examples uh, as well, uh, just like the W3, but it talks about a lot more. So if you want to really dive in uh, and understand what's going on, go to the MDN here, okay? If you want just a quick reference, how do I do this again? Go to the W3 school. So again, very powerful tools. Um, you can use them uh, anytime you want and to get help instantly. And one more thing I wanted to show you was if you ever want to run some quick code and maybe you don't want to run Node, one website I really like is called uh, jsbin.com. And what it does is it allows you to do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and either print it to the console or there's an output with HTML. So what I like to do when I'm just running some quick tests and I don't want to pull up a Node, turn off HTML, turn off output, turn on JavaScript, and turn on the console there. And so I can do something like this. I can say var, make it bigger here. Var, we'll say val1 equals hey. And var val2 equals uh, boss. Why not? And uh, let's go ahead and do console.log. And we're going to say val, val1 plus a space plus val2 plus exclamation point okay and all you got to do is uh let me close out this top thing here too we don't need that i want to do is here is uh, run it and look at that quick uh, javascript interpretation right there on the spot so there's a few resources for you really cool stuff web development um, can be uh, super easy to just jump onto the tools are out there browsers everywhere so that's it for this video, just quick references uh, that you can have as you run into problems. And if you can't figure it out, then come talk to me, go into the chat rooms, uh, whatever you need to do. That's a wrap, let's go ahead and move on.